Hello all, welcome to Settle Part is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to this ministry. Okay, so in today's video, I will be discussing something very important with you guys, okay? Um, concerning what Abba um, revealed to me while I was in prayer, okay? Um, yeah, so I'll go into details about that in the next clip. Stay tuned. Okay, so there's a movie that's circulating around um, that everyone is talking about and watching, okay? Um, I watched it, okay? I watched it. And after I, I got done watching it, um, there was a sense of fear fear of the unknown came upon me and um i was talking to someone about the movie and i was like man you know what if uh a cyber attack did happen you know and the movie i'm talking about is called leave the world behind it's on netflix okay um after me watching it i wouldn't even suggest anyone else to go and watch it because it leaves a sense of fear um fear of the unknown um on you and if you're not deeply rooted in yah in the word then it can get you into a place of um anxiety and and you don't want that and also the movie has a lot of cursing in it sexual content um i wish i was warned from other people about that and I wouldn't have watched it okay and it, and it didn't really reveal that much than what I already know what was what would happen um anyway overall I feel like I wish I didn't I regret watching it um because it it I was left with again as the sense of a, a fear of, of of the unknown okay um and so i was talking about the movie with someone and i was like man you know i have my family in new york you know my mom my siblings and god forbid something were to you know do happen like that like you know if there if the if there was a cyber attack if um if the electricity everything went went off and there was no sense of communication to get in contact with my mom or my family so on and so forth I'm all the way here in Texas um you know that would really leave me in a state of worry not knowing how my mom is doing or so on and so forth and i was just i was literally just talking about that um with someone and during prayer last night um abba spoke he revealed um through prayer because you know how um the holy spirit he intercedes he was interceding out of my mouth through a, cons a, a deep concern that i had um during prayer i was just praying normally and he himself spoke out of me okay and and this is what he said Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said, um, I will be your uh, sense of communication um, during those times. Okay. Meaning, um, he's, um, I, will be give, I will be giving you dreams and visions, speaking to you audibly, um, doing supernatural things um, for you. Um, letting you know that your family is okay um, through the, my, the communication that I ha that I've already been having with you already. Okay, um, I've been giving you dreams and visions, and um, I sp I speak to you in in, in your spirit in, in my word um, already. So when these things happen, when you do lose these things that we depend on this world, um, don't worry about all of those things continue plugging into me continue plugging into yeah okay um he will let you know 
if your sibling, your loved ones is okay or not through his communication. You don't have to depend on your the telephone or the, your cell phone, um, so on and so forth. Um, also, he says supernaturally he'll be doing things for his children during this time. Um, if you are in lack, if you're lacking anything, he will provide. Um, and he wants me to uh, share one thing that happened recently, um, how he came through. He revealed himself unto me um, two weeks ago um, out of nowhere. Um, during my praying and fasting, he revealed himself to me. So I'm going to share that, okay, um, just to give people hope, okay? Um, yeah. So, um, I'm just sharing a testimony real quick. Two weeks ago, um, I was looking for my coffee mug, okay? Because I was, I wanted to make some tea. Um, and, um, my coffee mugs are not, they're like, I put them high so nobody can, you know, reach them, you know, I don't want the kids to touch them or anything like that because I only use them when I'm drinking tea or coffee, right? Um and you know, I don't want the, I don't want I don't want them to break. So, they're not like everyday um cups that we use in my house. I have like other cups, like little plastic cups where the kids can use. So, this is not a these, these are not cups that people use in my house, okay? So, I only use them when I'm about to drink tea or um coffee. Which I don't drink coffee anymore anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so that day I was looking for my coffee cup. And I know it's always on that shelf. It's always there. Always there. Um, so I came in there in the kitchen to look for it. Okay. I opened up the cabinet and it was not there. All right. Um, I looked in the dishwasher. It was not there. I'm like... It wouldn't be in a dishwasher because nobody uses the cups. So why would it be there? So I knew it wasn't there, but I looked anywhere just, just to double check. I'm like, where where is it? So I left the kitchen and then I came back in. Um, I came back in the kitchen and boom, it was right there sitting on the countertop. Um, right in, Like right in front of me. I was just there looking for it. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to, but I know what happened. I know what I saw. Um, anyway, so when that happened, I was like, I instantly was like, what in the heck just, just happened? And I was just right there looking for it. And it's not, the, it's never just laying on the, it's never sitting on the counter, countertop because nobody uses these, these cups. Nobody uses them. So it, it it just didn't make any sense to me. And instantly I felt the presence of, you know, the Ruach, um, the Holy Spirit just overtook me. And I was like, you know, in tears and I went into prayer and I'm like, and y'all said, this is how, this is you, you, what just took place. What just took place just now is what's going to be happening um, in the times going uh, um, up ahead where he's going to be showing up um, supernaturally for his children. OK, when you are in lack, OK, when you when you when you, when you don't have any water or food or whatever medicine, whatever the case is, he's going to be showing up supernaturally. Um, OK, just like that, supernaturally. I was in the middle of praying and fasting when that occurred. Okay, and Yah did that to show me, to reveal to me how it's going to be um, going forward. Okay, this is going to be the norm because as the world gets darker, he is going to be um, coming through for us in a supernatural way, miraculously every day. Like this, this is this is how it's going to be. Okay, so. <laughs> You don't have to believe um, the testimony that I shared with you. That's fine if you don't believe it. <laughs> I, know, I know where I keep my coffee cups, <laughs> okay? I know that uh, in my home, there's no 
uh, uh, mugs laid out on the kitchen um, countertop. In my home, no, 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 no. Um, I there's no way my kids are touching my coffee cups, um, um, cups, when I know they can break them easily, break them. So I know that that coffee cup, um, mug was not there when I was there looking for it. I would have seen it because it's not the normal. It's not the norm in my house to to find a coffee mug on sitting on top of a, a um kitchen countertop. Not not in my home. It's not normal. Okay. Um, they, they, we, we, we use plastic cups in my, in my house with, with my children, the way my children are. Okay. I don't know about your home. So, um, yeah. And I went into prayer and Yah spoke, he revealed to me, you know, this is how it's going to be. Um, you're asking for something, you need something and boom, it's, it's, he will, it would appear, it would appear in the physical realm. Okay, he will be using our angels to to come through for us, okay, during these times ahead. So, for the ones who live in the city, who do not have uh, a garden and uh, 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 two acres, four acres of land of preparation of food, of this and that and the third, you're not prepared, okay, for um, the end times, you know, physically, okay? Um, focus more on preparing spiritually and leave it up to Yah. He will have your back, okay? Um, he will have your back. Um, this is what he has been revealing to me. Hallelujah. He is, uh, he will show up in the times of, again, um, he says he is the one who will be giving, um, you know, giving us communication, during these times, okay, to to continue putting his our faith and trust in him, um, he will be communicating with us, letting us know this person is okay. That's going on. This is what's going on. This is where to go. This is where to stay. This, okay, just like how he's how he how he has been doing. Okay, um, if you're already plugged into him, um, this shouldn't be um, something new. Okay, this should be a normal lifestyle that you should be having an intimacy with, with Yah, even even right now. Um, so as the time gets um darker and things do happen, God forbid we do have a, an attack and um uh, we no longer could could depend on this and that and a third, but we will still always have Yah. He's been communicating with us. He's been giving us dreams and visions and speaking to us, okay? And he's going to continuously do so. Um, this is what he said. You do not have to worry um, when these things happen. So, hallelujah. Um, with just one prayer, all of that sense of worrying and uh, fear of the unknown just went away. Just hearing Abba's voice, just hearing what, you know... Him revealing that to me in um, in the time of prayer, he revealed that to me, and now I'm okay. Just like you know, a daughter going to her dad, you know, and her da her dad just making her f feel okay. This is what happened um, yesterday in prayer, um, and um, he wanted me to come out and share with those who are feeling, you know, having fear of the unknown right now, who are just. Um, who is taking this movie um, and, you know, got you thinking, got you, you know, um, feeling uneasy and uh, uh, worrying about this and this. Abba says to um, continue to seek him, build up your faith, okay, on him and in him. Um, Plant your house on his rock. So when the winds do come, your house will be still left standing, okay? This is what he wants you to do, okay? Um, more than anything else. Yes, you can still prepare, do what you have to do, but the main preparation is spiritually and being confident, deeply rooted in Yah's word and in his love, Um having faith in him okay so when if something were to do go down like that um your intimate relationship still stands 
Um, and knowing that you will be fed, your family will be fed and taken care of, and you will have communication and, and know that your, your, your loved ones, your, your friends, whatever is, is okay. Because Yah will be communicating with you during this time, even more, even more. Okay. Um, hallelujah to the most high God of Israel. Hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. <laughs> So, my name is Sister Mildred. I wanted to uh, come and make this video. Yeah, I wanted me to come and make this video um, to silence the fear, silence the 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 question marks. Okay, um, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, for Christ, we for Christ, our flesh dies. Until next time, shalom. Oh.